your side, problem solver, a Lakeland homeowner who paid to have her electric upgraded was left with an electrical mess instead. The homeowners are now out nearly $6,000. Eight on your side has been working to get some answers. Melissa Marino joins us now live from the home in Lakeland. And Melissa, even after the city issued building code violations in May, this still has not been fixed months later. That's right. And here's just one example. Some of the electric boxes, the backs were cut off, which is a major fire hazard. So they put one. Melinda Rinker did everything right. I checked that they had a, um, a license. I checked that they had insurance. She thought she found the perfect company to upgrade the electric in her Lakeland home, Andrus Electric. That is, until the work was finished, or so she thought. Outlets were crooked in the walls. The, the faceplates were just totally wonky. Um, the, telling him that they'd cut the backs out of boxes, out of the, the receptacle boxes. She claims the workers left behind big gaping holes in her walls. The last straw? She woke up in the middle of the night and her pacemaker wasn't working. Why? The breaker popped. Fed up, she contacted the city who found 26 code violations. Definitely proved that those workers needed some additional training and supervision. Quite a bit of it. Months later, and she claims nothing has been fixed. Eight on your side wanted to find out what's the holdup. We went to the address listed on the Andrus Electric website. The building is empty. I called and spoke with the owner of the company, Marshall Andrus. About why um, all the 26 items that the city cited have not been fixed. He told me he wanted to speak with his attorney and did not want to go on camera. Although he did say he has every intention of fixing the problems. This homeowner isn't buying it. I don't feel safe that I'm not going to come back to a my home being burnt down. And we've learned that after we contacted the company, they contacted Rinker right afterwards, but so far no resolution has been reached. Jen? So frustrating for this lady, and it seems like she took all the right steps. It makes me wonder, if you're a homeowner, how do you even avoid this happening to you? So the city building inspector told me that one way is to make sure you check the final building inspection report before paying the final amount of money. Rinker did this, but usually this can help protect you. Like I said, it's just very frustrating. Melissa Marino, live for us in Lakeland. Thank you.